I'm Tracy. I am back again today with another fabulous Ask a Geologist question from one of our readers. Today's question is from Teddy, and he wants to know, what are some common household items made from rocks and minerals? Welcome to Ask a Geologist, brought to you by Mini-Me Geology. We make earth science exciting with fun rocks, cool minerals, fascinating experiments, awesome kits, and the answers to your geology questions. Mini-Me Geology is where kids rock, so let's get rolling. Teddy wrote to us and asked, what are a lot of the common household items and items around my town that I might see that are made from rocks and minerals? Well, Teddy, believe it or not, rocks and minerals are used in lots and lots of things that you can find around your house. Now, one of the most common is a little pencil. Everybody calls the tip of this the pencil lead, but this is actually graphite. And graphite is a mineral made out of carbon, and that is actually what you use to write with when you're using your pencil. Now, there are lots of other uses for minerals and rocks. I have a few here that I'm going to show you. And if you go to our blog at minimegeology.com, we have a blog post with this video that gives more uses for many, many other rocks and minerals. But some of the ones that I think are most interesting are like this azurite right here. As you can see, this is a beautiful blue color, and azurite is often used to make dyes, um, blue colored dye that is used for different things like paints and clothing and things like that. Now, the next mineral I have here is gypsum. And gypsum, if you look around your house, look at your walls. A lot of times, the plaster and the drywall around your house has gypsum content in it. So this you may have around you at all times and you didn't even know it. Now there's another one that I'm sure that you have in your house and that you actually eat and you may not even realize it. That is the mineral halite and halite is actually table salt. It's made of sodium chloride and your mom and dad probably use it when they go and they cook dinner every night and you probably never even knew that you were eating a mineral at dinner time. Now there's some other rocks um, that are used for a lot of building materials. And these are commonly like granite. This is a very pretty pink and black granite right here. Granite has a lot of uses. Um, they'll use them inside houses in countertops, in tiles. Outside, it may be as crushed um, roadbed material. So granite um, and other igneous, similar igneous rocks have a lot of uses. And then another one that you might see outside your house is scoria. A lot of times people call this lava rock. And it is very common in the western states of the United States as a landscape material. And you'll see this type of rock scattered all around the landscape beds around the plants because it's fairly durable and protective um, for those areas. And it's also a beautiful red color, so it adds a lot of interest and um, beauty to the outside of your home. Now go to our blog and read more information about different uses for other rocks and minerals around your own home and leave us some comments below about what you find when you're looking around your house and around your town and see where you're finding rocks and minerals in use. Now as always we would love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all of our future videos and we would love to hear from you either in the comments below or you can email me directly at rockinfo at minimegeology.com. Now keep those questions coming in and until next time, rock on everyone.